Killing Aliens Reptile Cult. Today, we're doing another murder and makeup video. I had a lot of fun doing the last one and people liked it. So, I mean, why not do it again? So, so I said, why not? Why not do it again? Why not do it again? Why not? Why not? As you can see, I have on my killer clowns. Can you see it? I have on my killer clowns from outer space shirt because today's topic of murders is going to be all space related while I do this spacey, starry, intergalactic cunt look. I'm super excited because this, look, I mean, look at that. That's, hold on, let's look at this artistry right here. This is just like, you see like the rainbow almost and then that, oh, I think I can do it. Let's start our face prep. I'm going to first moisturize. Since the first video, I've had time and money to go out and get more products, better stuff, and also kind of just play around with my base techniques. And even though I'm still learning, I think I am making a really, really good start. I seen everyone was raving about this freaking, this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And they have the blue one and the pink one. I got the pink one because I thought it was cuter. I like it like it sticks, it stays, I guess. I don't know. Now in the last murder and makeup video, I think we talked about love crimes. Cause yes, it was, we did the hearts look and it was Valentine's Day. I don't know why, but I've been fascinated in outer space recently and I was thinking one day, I wonder if there has been any alien killings. I know it's kind of weird for someone to say alien and true crime because aliens haven't technically, technically, that's what they all like to say, technically aliens existence hasn't been proven or we don't have any knowledge of the. You can tell, it looks like it doesn't match y'all, but I promise you, Back to what I was saying though, sorry, I get so off topic. I was thinking, I was like, oh my gosh. Since aliens' existence aren't technically proven with facts, it's kind of hard to say alien true crime. Especially looking at some of the shit that pops up when you search in alien true crime stories, you'd be like, okay, what the fuck? These bitches clearly like. <laughs> the aliens are probably reading this and they're like, Let's get into this first case. Now, here's the headline, child. Here's the head Woman convicted of murdering boyfriend she met through an online alien cult. I already know this is about to be some shit. <laughs> this is the ID website. Y'all know ID don't play. So it says a woman who first met her boyfriend through their involvement with a cult that believe in fallen angels who took form of aliens and UFOs said he forced her to kill him. Girl, look at her. Hold on, let me let me get a good zoom in on that face, that that mug. Ooh. <laughs> she looks like she's lying. Like you don't have one same looking part in your face. And I don't know if that's an insult, that's most definitely an insult. In 2016, Stephen Minayo, I think that's how you say it, 32 and Barbara Rogers, two members of Ohio-based Cherry Shriners online cult. Of course it's freaking Ohio. It says they began communicating with each other and decided to meet in person. Okay, you're crazy. After Minayo and Rogers rented a home together Bitches just met each other. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> That's crazy. How long did y'all know each other before y'all moved into it? Cause me, I probably I can know these people for my whole life, and I probably wouldn't move in to the same premises with you. And they quickly grew serious. Shit, you think? It says cult leader Shriner, who only communicated with devotees online or by phone, didn't like the development. 
and she grew wary of Roger's blossoming relationship with inexperienced Maneo. As months passed by, Roger's behavior became increasingly erratic. She wasn't taking her medication for bipolar disorder she was diagnosed with while serving in the military. She also allegedly grew delusional and struggled with impulse control as she drank more and more. So she was an alcoholic as well. So you moved in with this lady. She's an alcoholic. She was in the military, bipolar. Says Maneo's online mentor and mother figure, Shriner. Shriner, okay, Shriner, bitch. I'm tired of this hoe. Later said in an interview that she believed Rogers may have had a demon or lizard manifested in her. <laughs> the lady, you run this cult, right? She runs this cult. Shriner, yeah, this bitch runs the cult. And she's like, oh yeah, I think she has, I think she wanted him. That's so. That's what's so funny to me about like these cults and things because they put these people in power and these people can literally say anything or do anything and they'll be like, so I bet everybody in the cult was like, yeah, that bitch a fucking lizard. Not only that, she goes and tells Maneo, she says, a human's no match for that kind of supernatural strength. And, and she told that to the man. Okay, uh, uh, uh. Now it starts to get serious. In the early morning hours of July 15, 2017, so this was recent. I didn't realize how recent this was. Maneo and Rogers were drinking and shooting his 45 caliber handgun at their cool ball township home. After they returned inside, Robin's defense attorney said at trial, Maneo forced his girlfriend to shoot him according to WNEP. So this is, this is Rogers talking right here. She said, My boyfriend had a gun. He told me to hold it here and press the trigger. Oh my God, he's dead. Then it says in the police report, she later claimed she didn't know the firearm was still loaded. So why would... I just allegedly told officers her boyfriend was upset at the time of his death because he had come to believe cult leader Shriner was a reptilian. What? You know what? That makes perfect freaking sense. That's the perfect cover up for a reptile person. I didn't expect for this one to be as juicy as it is. We said say this for last. So she said that he said that Shriner was a reptile and that's why he wanted her to kill him? I think I just can't, am I just not, am I, is something not clicking? Can anybody else see why she killed him? I don't see it. Imagine being a police officer, like, working this game. <laughs> Girl. Let's see about Roger's sentence. Let's see what she, what, 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 what? What happened to our good sis, our good reptile sis? In March 2019, a Monroe County jury convicted Rogers of third-degree murder, and the judge sentenced her to 15 to 40 years behind bars. Under Pennsylvania law, a third-degree murder conviction requires proof of malicious knowledge that conduct in question could pose a threat to human life, but not intend to kill. Okay, so that makes sense. Prosecutor and Maneo's family said the now 44-year-old convicted killer should have been found guilty of first-degree murder, and they criticized the punishment as too lenient. Schreiner always denied she was the leader of the cult. She passed away in 2018. Pretty sure Schreiner knew exactly. I think Schreiner was a reptile. I think Schreiner was a reptile. So the palette that I'm going to be using because it has a lot of bright, bright colors in it is the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. And I don't want to hear any of you sassy mouth queens in the comments like, oh, he's supposed to be canceled. Bitch, shut up. Grow the fuck up. So we're starting on the eyeshadow. I guess it only makes sense to start a new story. Astronaut faces attempted murder charges. Hmm, crazy. I think there's gonna be a lot of drama in this. 
and what NASA is calling a bizarre and sad story. An astronaut is being accused of attempted kidnapping and murder. Oh my gosh. Did anybody else go through a NASA phase? Like, do you remember when NASA, it seems like everyone and their grandma had a NASA shirt. I remember I, I had like two NASA shirts. I had one that was black and white and it had stars all over it. Really cool shirt. I think I got it from like Spencer or something. And I also had this like long sleeve NASA shirt and it said NASA, 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 NASA. Thanks, have a nice day. Like a trash bag. And I got that one off of Amazon, I remember it. Who are we talking about? Who are we talking about here? It says police say that Lisa Nowak planned to kidnap and kill someone she considered a romantic rival for the affection of another astronaut. I knew it would be drama. I know it would be drama. Y'all know I live for the drama. I love drama. <laughs> so good. Now I'm gonna dip into this little light blue right here and I'm gonna ombre it in and go on top of the purple to the bridge of my nose. See? See how I did that? See how I popped that, that, that in the in the inner corner? You see how I popped that real quick? Noak, 43, is a married mother of three. Ah, that's so funny, it rhymes. She has been an astronaut for more than a decade. Her first space flight took place last summer when she blasted off in space on the 4th of July. So when was this? So it wasn't last summer, this is in uh, 2007. So this would have been in 2006. Noak wore a wig and a trench coat, and she stopped U.S. Air Force Captain Colleen Shipman, 30, in the airport parking lot. She asked Shipman for a ride or to use her cell phone, and when the woman opened her car window a crack, police say Noak directed pepper spray at Shipman's face. I love her. <laughs> Noak told police she was going to use the BB gun they found in her car to entice the Shipman to talk to her about her relationship with Navy Commander Bill Ophelini. How do you say this? <laughs> Ophelini? That sounds like a drug. That sounds like a drug, doesn't it? Ophelini. Ophelini. You know, he was strung out on that Ophelini. In the streets, they call it the, the big O. I'm dead. She, she was gonna use the BB gun to try to get her inside. <laughs> So she was gonna try to get her to fess up with the BB gun. That's what's really killing me right now. It's like really funny. The BB gun, do you know how, how big a fucking BB gun bullet is? A BB gun bullet is not even like this big, like a b It even says she wore diapers on the almost a thousand mile drive from her home, Houston, to Orlando. Sister, why the diaper? She wanted her lick back. She wanted her lick all the way back. She didn't want to, she wanted a, she wanted her like back, honey. <laughs> Neo could never do this. Neo couldn't even think of doing something like this because I am so ethereal okay so off camera i added just a few little details into the middle of the stars like my own little creative spin on the look okay so that's one eye complete almost well we need a lash and some mascara and all that but that's it that's it for that eye now we gotta go to the other eye and then this last one it's kind of i was interested by it because this is just so stupid the headline it says Alien body found in small village after terrifying UFO invasion, then mysteriously disappears. Let's see what this says. It says, however, it has now hit the headlines thanks to a very mysterious encounter allegedly involving a UFO and a dead alien. Local residents took images of the alleged deceased extraterrestrial lying in the gutter before it mysteriously disappeared earlier this month. Much to their surprise. Imagine the like alien in the gutter like
This is just somebody's grandma strung out on something. Just got up and left. I'm pretty sure that's all this was. And the only reason why I counted this as true crime because I was thinking like, ooh, what if somebody could have killed killed a person and burned them and put them in the gutter and then and and everyone thought it was an alien. So then it says, it remains unclear whether a sneaky opportunist removed the alien corpse or whether it's alien pals beamed it on board their UFO before making an intergalactic getaway. <laughs> oh, oh, it says our sister site Daily Star has published pictures of the alleged alien. Let's look at this shit. <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see the shit? Who the fuck wrote this? I just put some shit there. Let's get a let's get some mascara and a lash on. So I got these lashes off of Amazon. I have a big confession to me. I am no longer a part of Blush Hater Club gang. I'm a blush hater. Blush Hater Club, I'm gonna start a new club. Blush Hater, Blush Hater Club gang. I freaking love, I got this little angle fluff brush and I love taking this little color right here and it has like shimmer in it. And I put it literally And I love how it looks. Mmm. 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 Is this like alien realness? Star realness? Ah! Okay. I think this was a job well done. How about you guys? I think this was a job well done. But as far as these stories, it was a bunch of bull crappity crappity crap today. Maybe this should be a series on my channel. This and freaking Lee's Life Sims 4. If you prop this video is probably gonna get uploaded after that one because that one has been done for freaking three months. Don't ask why I haven't uploaded it, but that was been done for three months. So this and Lee's life are definitely staying on this channel. So make sure you tune in. Make sure you tune in. And comment some topics for the next ones. Like some some murders that you guys would want to hear about. Um, I was thinking maybe like a slasher killer type. Or like a serial killer deep dive. Or um, hmm, unsolved murders. Unsolved. But for now, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Stay great, barbs. And you know what? Even if Miss Shrine accuses you of being a reptilian, just know you have a place in my heart.